Lafayette family. It is time for another episode of Need a Lift, and I am so excited because it is commencement time here at Lafayette. And we are about to pick up somebody very special. Everybody get ready to meet my next guest. That's right. It's Chip Bird. <laughs> Hello. Hi Chip, how you doing? Oh, this is amazing. Welcome to campus. So great to finally meet oh, you I'm, in I'm person. I'm a hugger, okay, so you're great. getting a hug. <laughs> We're into that. I'm a hugger too. Well, welcome back home. Well, it's so amazing to be back on campus. It is great to have you here. That's, I am so excited. I, it's, I'm emotional about it, actually. It's really been great. I mean, it's only been an hour and a half, I was about to say, two we've, hours. We've only just begun, so we're going to have some fun. It's amazing how much it's changed, though. It's, so much has changed, but so much is still the same. Well, we're going we're gonna to drive you around, and you can tell me about how much of it's changed and been the same. But, but just uh, the fact that this is a street. Yeah, this no, changed. huge This difference. used to be a street. You were here, graduating in 79. 79. And what, just to refresh everybody, what did you study when you were at Lafayette? So I studied, I uh, majored in international affairs, um, very much a liberal arts education. So my grade, or my class, we graduated 33 different majors. Wow. Oh, but now it's like 50, yeah, no, I think I keep, this we class, keep 53 growing. or 55, and, and majors that you know didn't even exist back in the day yeah. when I was in school, so it, it's really impressive. The young woman who took us around on our college tour today, double major in bioengineering and theater, and neither one of those existed as a major back when I was here at school. Well, part of part of my need a lift is we always stop and get some coffee. So awesome. I think I think I'm, your coffee's coming right I'm now. I'm down for that. <laughs> oh, go. they know what I like. Even <laughs> look at that. Right, let me guess. Four shots of espresso, half calf with Splenda. Exactly. There you go. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. That's well, awesome. cheers. Cheers. Welcome home. Thank you very much. Right. It's so great to be home. <laughs> I keep talking about the power of and at Lafayette, yes. right? So yep. the power of and is right. It's you saw it this morning with your tour. Yeah. It's liberal arts and, and engineering, science, right? right? Right. It's, it's not. It's not or. Um, it's education and athletics. You got it. it is, Bingo. And it is and classroom it's, and social activities. You got it. it. And it's campus and community, right? right? So the idea that we're separate from Easton is just not true. We're profoundly part, part of, of Easton. Part of Easton. Uh, and Easton needs to be lifted up just as we need to lift up the college. So um, I'm very excited about thinking, reimagining McCartney and some of these areas that felt like boundaries. We shouldn't have any boundaries, right? Exactly. Uh, we should be one, one, one group of people one focused. One, right, community. one community. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust myself a little bit here, but you know, this is South College. This was my freshman dorm, 48 years ago, 1975. I was on the third floor, on the other side of the building, on the back side of the building. But um, one day in the fall of my freshman year. Somebody bought some surgical tubing, <laughs> and we created, I think, the world's largest sling slingshot, and we were firing water balloons off of this roof over the geology building <laughs> all the way to the quad. We, we were also firing over the chapel. And it was it was hysterical. That's impressive. Well, so you should... what's amazing is we didn't get in, we didn't get caught. We didn't get in trouble. <laughs> we got away with it. That's what's amazing. Well, but. so one of the things uh, that we do every episode, I'm sure sure you uh, are ready for this one because I know that you're uh, you're somebody that can take all sorts of interesting questions. So here we go. We ready for our little speed round here? Sure. All right. So your favorite word is uh, discipline. Nice word. That's actually a really powerful word. Okay, favorite song? Okay, favorite movie is Top Gun. Okay. Favorite there's, song? There's about I, to be another one too, I know, right? Coming yep. out this summer. All right. Um, postponed for two years because of COVID. But my favorite song is a song from that movie called Playing With The Boys. Yes, the volleyball scene. And it is, uh, <laughs> Isn't it? Yes, yes, it is the volleyball scene. It's a Kenny Loggins song. Yeah, I'm yeah. dating myself. <laughs> I'm dating but, myself um, too. But every year they have Fleet week, week in San Francisco and the Blue Angels come. And when they come, they practice for two days right outside of my office. And I just crank that song 
over and over and That's over an awesome again. Song. I'm loving these answers, Chip. Okay, last one. When I say Lafayette, you think first word comes to mind when I say Lafayette? Uh, liberal arts. Yep. Um, it's who who it was when I was here. It's who what Lafayette is to me. Yep. Um, amazing education, lifelong learning. Um, fond memories. Well, it's back to the discipline of who we are to the core. So I actually love that answer because you know. You can evolve, but you can have that core, and that core is still here, which is really exciting. I kind of end my talk tomorrow for tomorrow um, talking about Don't Forget Lafayette, because the longer I've been away from it, the more I realized the impact that it had on my life. Um, I didn't fully appreciate it when I, appreciate it when I graduated, um, and the further removed from it I've been, the more I realize how much of an impact it had, and, and the more I want to give back and make a difference, and you know, help propel the school to the next level of greatness. And for the young generation today, they want to work at a place that shares their values. You know, so they're looking for a real alignment between their personal values and wherever they're going to wind up, you know, committing themselves from a career standpoint, and to prepare them for that. Giving them experiences is everything, you know. Uh, the, the opportunity to travel and or study overseas is huge. That global perspective today is so necessary. Um, when I went to school, my class, we had 10 international students. Wow, wow. This graduating class, there are people from 53 different countries. That's right, that's right. It, so, you know, Almost by definition, people have gone to school the last four years and, and very likely have friends who grew up in a completely different world and environment than they did. That's and, right. and that diversity is in itself an experience. Well, it makes our classrooms stronger, right? It makes our labs stronger. Totally. I say a diverse organization will outcompete a homogenous one every single day. When I came to school here, this is in my talk too tomorrow. Um, it was largely, we were mostly white, mostly middle income, middle upper income students from mostly Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. And um, 10 international students, as I said. Now, um, I think it's 43 states, 53 countries. It's like the United Nations here almost. And that diversity makes this school a better place. Um, students come away from here because our, our problems today are global problems. They're not Pennsylvania problems. They're right. global problems. And, and they're more prepared to face the world having spent four years in, a, in such a diverse environment. Well, Chip, thank you for, for coming in the cart. Uh, I, know, I know I got a lift. So, well, um, this, was, this was so much fun. It was awesome. And you're a pretty good driver, too. Not bad. You know, um, it was part, part of the interview process. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now this was a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get to know you too. I mean, uh, and thank you so, so much. It's a great thing. Can I give you a hug goodbye? Absolutely, anytime. Thanks for the lift. Yes. I really appreciate yeah. it. And how do I get out of here? There, there you go. go. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, Nicole. See you later.